Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing alright. So, <clears throat> yesterday evening, um, pretty much right before I went to bed, um, I got a text from, <laughs> I don't exactly know who it is. Um, they've told me they're from the army and that they're older than me, so they're older, they're 36 years of age. Um, and uh, they had a, a rather what's a good word I don't want to say negative but a very um, blunt and I mean it, it was borderline negative attitude or tone regarding my person and he was very adamant about telling me what I should do with my life and how I should live and how my project isn't doing any good for anybody and and then he said something that got me really thinking he was like there's nothing anybody can do. Um, we are in a demon matrix and nobody or anyone can save you or help anybody, including his family or anybody's family. And it's like the way he said it, um, it took me back a little bit. I was like, damn, you know, because sometimes it feels that way. Sometimes it feels hopeless that there's like nothing we can do but just try to you know get through this like a like some type of penis as well as we can um but uh you know as i look back on the on the messages he sent me and the feeling the way everything went down uh first of all he's coming from a fear-based mindset and he's coming from a negative based mindset so he's not thinking positive he's not allowing love to help him see the positive of the situation and the opportunity of growth um he's also not calculating the factor that we still have free will Right now, there's nobody forcing me to join the military. There's nobody forcing me to work with anybody. There's nobody forcing me to do anything. We all could, if we wanted to, leave and relocate somewhere else right now, as, as well as our body and whatever type of vehicles or things we have can take us there. Like, we can do that. Nothing is in our way to stop us from doing that. So in my opinion, that means that there still is choice. Choice is still a reality. And when you're in prison, like a real prison, your choice is very, 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 very limited. And that's not the case here. We have a lot of choices. We have a plant that can literally create a whole infrastructure on its own. Not only that, it can cure cancer. It can give you the best nutrients you need for your immune system so you won't have to worry about any diseases or sicknesses. It can realign your neurons for drug addicts and people with neurodegenerative diseases and help them heal. It can do so many things. It grows in four months. You can grow it almost anywhere. The list goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Um, so, you know, when I don't hear people factoring in those type of things, it lets me know that either they're misinformed or probably a mixture of that and that they're just stuck in a, a negative mindset. And I'm not, I mean, think about the military, dude. There's a, we hear a lot of bad, tra tragic stories from military veterans killing themselves. It seems to be a real problem. A lot of veterans are homeless and a lot of veterans are killing themselves, which means that they're experiencing things in the military that are really fucking them up. Um, and, you know, my dad's friend, he's recently retired, did like 30 years or something in the army. And let me tell you, he's got some darkness to him. He's got some serious. He's also one of the coolest dudes I've met in my life, but he's also got a very, 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 very dark side that's not fun at all. Like, like super dark. Like he said some things to me that I was taken back by. I'll just, just tell you. Like, so we were talking about Little Bear, <clears throat> and um, this was I think last winter when me and my dad went to go visit him, and you know we're like, yeah, Little Bear, you know he barks a lot and he doesn't want to listen, and you know he's kind of being, you know, he's giving us a little bit of trouble. His solution to that problem was, um, at first I thought he was kidding, but he kept on bringing it up and I realized he wasn't kidding. Um, his solution was to just kill Little Bear. That was his solution. So this is how they're taught. This is how the military, and this is coming from a dude who was in the medical field of the military. He was a surgeon. That's all he did. He didn't really fight. He, I mean, he saw a little bit of combat because he had to go over there to I Iraq or Iran, one of those places, but he didn't. He wasn't a combatant soldier. He was a medic. Um, but even as a medic, he still had the mentality to just kill it instead of trying to train it, instead of trying to love it, instead of trying to figure out a solution to it, his solution was to just kill it. So they're trained to kill. They're not trained to solve problems. They're not trained to be a police force. They're not trained to rehabilitate people. They're not trained to help teach people. They're trained to kill. Okay. So looking to the military for answers is a mistake. 
because this is a spiritual battle you're in. You're going to need spiritual advisors. You're going to need people who are spiritually involved and intuitively are able to connect to the information that's necessary for humanity to grow. And this is what it takes, is us getting over these profit-driven societies that are made up of the military industrial complex, the health industrial complex, the entertainment industrial complex, the list goes on. That is what has made up America. All of these big corporations and companies go back to third world countries where they're exploiting the fuck out of the indigenous people there and the land there, and they're treating them like shit, paying them shit, taking it all over here, charging us a shit ton of money, we're paying for it, and this keeps this process perpetuating itself. This is what is partially causing these kids not to eat, this is what's partially causing all these people to live in terrorist zones, it's fucking up everything.